Hey, what's up everyone? This is Bevan with Den of Geek. I am here at the Purge Red Carpet at New York Comic Con. Let's go talk to the cast and the crew and find out just what this purge is all about. Is the purge healthy for this country? Oh, I see. Oh, got it. And the NFFA is definitely saying that it is, but our show is taking the stance that it's not. Yeah. And so our true believer character, Esme, is going to have a hard road this season learning that like her boss is not good news. No? Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, a lot of the conspiracy that we've seen in the movie. She's going to uncover herself. We're also going to see like all the other characters that may not be uh, tuned into the NFFA conspiracy are still going to be dealing with like the psychological ramifications of what happened. So PTSD, anxiety disorders because of like the increase in violence in the country. Some right. Even become killers. Yes. <laughs> you mean purgers? Purgers, no, off, off purge. purge. Off purge. Off purge. purge. They can't stop. Which is a big deal for the NFFA because that's supposed to not happen anymore. So. Oh, man. Whoever's in charge of their PR is just <laughs> screwed, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, guys, talk to me a little bit about, like, wrapping your brains around how to approach if the purge is unhealthy, which, of course, to all of us people that are not in that universe are like, yeah, duh, that makes sense. <laughs> how, how, if you were that PR person that's trying to convince people, no, 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 this is actually healthy for humans human beings, how would you go about that? I mean, they're very good at propaganda. Like, they definitely advertise that crime is a lot lower the rest of the year, which it is, because uh -huh. people are afraid to commit crimes the rest of the year because they will be horribly punished. <laughs> right? And so you ask any politicians now how they do it. I mean... <laughs> Let's be honest. I mean, it's essentially a heightened version of real life. That purge has always been that. So it's a matter of, if not direct lying, then just misdirecting and twisting the facts. Yeah, I, that sounds familiar. Are you sure this is not our universe? It is. We do talk about fake news occasionally in the yeah, show. <laughs> yeah. All right, so you become a target, and then you have to deal with the fact that your family is a suspect, and, and you're dealing with 364 days of figuring out how to prepare for the next purge, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, so Marcus goes on this whole spiral uh, of trying to figure out who would attempt to take him out, being that he is this professional, good-hearted guy. Uh, but what we come to find out is that Marcus's priorities were in the wrong place. And even though he's trying to figure out why he was targeted, he's also f figuring out why his, his marriage his friendships, his families aren't, his family uh, bubble. Let's say families, are we Polly now? Mm. No. Polly man. Purge. Polly I Purge. Start that. I, she started that. I did. <laughs> See, there's multi layers to this That's season. Right. It's not just about the purge, it's it's how to deal with your marriage. Yeah, yeah, that is true. It is true. We do deal with family and marriage and relationships. Hey. Yes, but this season I hear is all about the fact that maybe quite just just we're gonna go out on a limb here it's not quite healthy and it's not just more than one day at this point it is not you'll yes you'll get to see that is not quite healthy to um, to murder people um, <laughs> no <laughs> it's not it's not no, it, it's not it's interesting because you know <clears throat> you get desensitized mm -hmm. by this and the question gets raised um, in the human psyche like how does that affect you going forward like can you really just murder someone or commit a crime and not feel something afterwards can you just let it go or does it kind of awaken this dark side of you so that's something that is explored now your character do you think she's on the side of purging or not purging? <laughs> Michelle is not on the side of purging at all. Okay. Um, you know, she's lived through it for many years, but um, she much rather preferred to just stay and hide out. But if need be, she will protect herself. Meaning she can she can throw down. She will throw down if need be. Don't come for Michelle, everyone. Don't go for Michelle. She will throw down and you might not make it past purge night. That's right. That's what I say. That's right. And we're sticking <laughs> to that. So in terms of the purge season two for Michelle, what do you think the biggest hurdle is going to be for her if she's trying to avoid purge night and protect? Um, the biggest hurdle? Yeah. Um, well, what's happening between Michelle and Marcus is that someone has tried to purge him. In the beginning, we don't know. We believe that, we don't know if it's both of us. But then we find out that it's him. And so the biggest challenge is, I mean, what do you do? Your husband's got someone who wants to murder him and 
how do you live your life? You live in fear and paranoia and she's got PTSD and she's got to go to support, you know, support groups to kind of handle that. And she's living in this fear in the beginning. Mm -hmm. So talk to me a little bit about like the, the obviously the topic of conversation is the purge. Maybe not so healthy for people. Hot take on that. Yeah, maybe not a good option to prevent violence. No? Maybe. Or maybe. I mean, maybe. I mean, the NFFA was created uh -huh. uh, because they wanted to contain uh, this violence that people, you know, just to make people behave better during the, re the rest of the year. And it worked, apparently, to the NFFA. Um, you know, you get all that anger out, all that hatred, all that fear, mm -hmm. and then you're fine for the, the, you know, the other days of the, of the year. And then you, instead of, you know, reacting to people in a bad way, you're just like, you're on my list, you know, and then you wait. <laughs> you can just go like, okay, that's it. I feel like that would be so terrifying. Right? To get on somebody's list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you would have to behave just not to be on no one's list. And then if you're like super nice, you could, then someone maybe will go like, you know what, I'm gonna erase you from my list. You're not on my list anymore because you've been so good. Well, but hot take, what if somebody's nice to you all year round and that just kind of annoys you because you think it's fake? Does that, maybe they go back on that list for that? That's, yeah, that's what you're not supposed to, that's so annoying when people are fake. Yeah. The, the fake smile, the fake like, hi. I hate that. You're on the list for the fake smile. You know, that was fake. You know it. I know it. You're on my list. You're on my list. <laughs> it's interesting, too, with the, with the Purge and what it's affecting, is particularly your character. From what I've seen in the trailers, you get excited about it. <clears throat> Excitement, I don't know, is the right word. You smile uh, a lot. Yeah, yeah. You got to do some of that. It is the Purge franchise, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, yeah it, the descent for my character becomes one that is uh, uh, maybe fulfilling, sure. Gratifying? Gratifying for Ben. Gratifying indeed. Gives, why do you think that is? Do you think it just awakens, like, he has a sense of power, he has, he, it increases his confidence? Yeah, it's all that. Uh, oh, so smart. You are brilliant. Um, Thank you. The God Mask, obviously it's a, the symbolism that's just given to you by a writer. So, mm -hmm. yeah, you lean into that, yeah. So you get that power complex, for sure.